course, on uh, external parasites, uh, here in Texas, uh, flies would be the, the biggest problem, and, and specifically the horn fly uh, can be a big challenge for commercial cow-calf producers and stocker operators here in the state. Um, our fly season, one of our biggest challenges is that the, our fly season can be very extended, and it can be a little bit sporadic at times, and so we can have flies, a fly population emerge in March, and we have a breeding season or a, a time when those flies are available or, or are out there and potentially on cattle all the way in through until we get a first frost, which can be in Texas late November. So it is a very extended uh, fly season. However, because we do have sporadic weather patterns as far as moisture and rainfall, which uh, also influence uh, horn fly populations, if we get into the summer where we typically will get a summer brownout and, and we get a drier spell in June and July and into early August, uh, we see, we'll see fly populations decline some just because of the conditions uh, for breeding are, are not as conducive to uh, the uh, proliferation of those flies. So uh, the extended time of the breeding season can be a challenge. Uh, fly control options, there's lots of different options out there to control horn flies and many are very effective. Um, and uh, from a, from a cow-calf operation, uh, there's many chemicals out there that, uh, that are available, pesticides that can control flies. Uh, different classes that are, are available that we can rotate through to make sure that we don't have any resistance. And there's also many different applications that are available. There are the feed-through products that can work very well as long as consumption is, is correct on there. And we do get that product into the animals that really suppress larva growth uh, and essentially break the cycle of the flies. And then we do have our fly tags, which are one of our longer term control methods. And we can get uh, control up to 150 days uh, on those products. And then we have our pour-ons or our sprays, which are a little shorter term, a little more economical method, but they really only last for about 25 to 30 days uh, period of time. Uh, we do have our applications such as back rubs or dust bags that are that are that can also be effective ways to deliver the product and uh, the challenge with those is you've got to get the cattle to rub those type products to get application of the pesticide. And then there's some new innovation and new technology that it comes out year every year. Uh, one of the things that came out about uh, three years ago was a product that was applied in a capsule that was actually shot through uh, an air cartridge and uh, to hit the back of the cow uh, or calf or bull, whatever it may be, and essentially is a, a spot-on, pour-on type treatment uh, to where you don't have to really gather the cattle. And so uh, there's a lot of different options out there and different ways to manage flies. If you're managing flies in more of a confined type area, closed quarters or barns and those kind of things, Really the biggest control and the most effective control method is trying to keep things clean, and sanitary. Keep the manure out of those barns and facilities, try to keep spilled feed up. Get the, the, uh, the things that were the breeding grounds, get rid of them, uh, and uh, you should have a little pretty effective control. And then maybe incorporate some of the, uh, the uh, pesticide options that we do have for those types of methods. The control methods can be as, as low as, as just uh, pennies uh, on maybe a spray type product, maybe 20 to 50 cents, and we get up to some of our fly tags, which we may be in 3 to $5 per cow uh, for those treatment options.